We just made these t-shirts with our laser. With our diode laser. And our CO2 laser. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into textiles. <laughs> That's right, we're making t-shirts again, but t-shirts with our laser. Did you even know you can make t-shirts with a laser? We, we didn't. didn't. We did not know until one of our patrons showed us that they were making t-shirts with their X-Tool D1. So you know we had to try it out here. That's right, and we want to show you how you can make a t-shirt with a laser. I also want to know if you guys have tried making this on your own. Did you already know you could do this? Have you tried it on other materials? So I've done a little research. I think you can do it on fleece. You could do it on a fleece pullover. You could do it on a fleece blanket. Can you tell Kim really wants to do it on something fleece? <laughs> I do. I think they would make awesome Christmas gifts. So I want to try it. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a laser, because that's what we're doing. <laughs> but we're not only gonna make this on our diode laser, we're gonna try it on our CO2 laser as well. We needed some t-shirts. 100% cotton. Now I've read you can do different blends, but we're trying it today with 100% cotton. We needed a board to put inside our t-shirts. So one, it'll help stretch the shirt and two, it won't laser all the way through the shirt. And then some water. This will help smooth that shirt out so the laser tip won't catch the shirt if there's any wrinkles. Step two, we're gonna make a material test card. So you might be familiar with those speed and power test cards. We've used them on wood, metals, acrylics, but we're also gonna try it on this t-shirt. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create your own engraved test card right now in Creative Space. Are you ready for the easiest material test card ever? Don't blink, cause you're gonna miss it. I'm gonna draw a little rectangle. Hold shift so it's square. Let's make this quarter inch. Now while it's still selected, I'm gonna go over here to engrave, make sure it's on engraved, then back up top to a material test array. So it's got it all. It knows that my max is gonna be 180 uh, millimeters per second. My max power is 100%. So we'll go minimum power 10, minimum speed. Yeah, we'll stick with 10 columns. Let's boost these columns. Let's go 10 and 10. That way it'll increment by tens and I'll be able to tell. All right, okay. That's it, start. Let's go do our test. Step three, we're gonna run our test card. <laughs> we're gonna start with our diode laser because this one's a little less powerful. We're thinking it's a little less likely to burn all the way through the t-shirts. Just think it's gonna be a little bit easier. Plus, our patron used the diode laser, so we know it works. We're gonna use a test t-shirt. I found this one laying around the shop. Step four, time to test the t-shirt. I got a nice full design, ready to go. <laughs> and <laughs> he's already shown me this design, so Garrett's not starting with something small. Hey, let's see if we could do like a little emblem on a t-shirt. This is a full on fall vibes. It's a whole thing. So go big or go home, let's, Kim. Let's see it. <laughs> We're using 100% cotton t-shirts here. Um, I happened to find these at Walmart on clearance, so I grabbed a couple of packs of them when I found them, and I think they're perfect for this job. Well, they're definitely perfect for test jobs. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna roll it up and try to put this thing on like a sock. I'm trying to get the board centered in the t-shirt, inside the t-shirt, wherever I want my design. And I'm using really precise instruments to get exact measurements of where the board will be so I know my design will be perfect. Good news is I think this was the most difficult part of this project. Yeah, so it was. 
you know, if you've got this down and figured out, you're good to go. Then I'm gonna give it some spritz of water just to dampen it to get rid of all the wrinkles. I don't want any wrinkles and nothing sticking up that may catch that laser head. I'm gonna fold this up so it'll stay where we want it and bring it over to the laser. And the great thing about the D1 is we can lay it out nice and flat. We really wanna make sure there are no wrinkles in this shirt because you do not want that laser head to catch that shirt and drag it. We'll drag it and burn it at the same time. Lessons learned. Lessons learned. <laughs> We're gonna import our image, this one, and I think I'm gonna keep it big, keep it huge at 13 inches wide, 14 and a half inches tall, almost. I want 30% power, and then I'm gonna go 180 millimeters per second, as fast as this thing will engrave. I'll keep it grayscale. Then we're gonna use 180 lines per centimeter. We'll keep it bi-directional. Now let's frame it and engrave it. Two and a half hours later, I have myself a laser etched shirt. This thing, yes, it took two and a half hours. It was a really long engrave, but we didn't have to sit there and watch it the entire time. I we watched kept it a, most of the time. Though. We kept an eye on it. I am so impressed with the precision of this of this well, design. Like this buffalo plaid down here, this tiny buffalo plaid, it came out. Yeah, I I just am really, really impressed at what a laser can do. I mean, it did not uh, jeopardize the integrity of the t-shirt. It still it still looks great. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you the back side. Wanna see yeah. the back side? I don't know. <laughs> can you see from Flip there? It inside out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See? That's can't the front tell. of the shirt. You can't even tell. It did not come through to the other side. I do not think it damaged the fibers in any way. It's just amazing at how cool it looks. I, it's super crisp. Every pointy line on these leaves you can't is... Really, you can't even really feel it. No, you, you can't, can't feel, feel it. You can't feel a change like you would if it were ink, DTF, HTV. Yeah. There's nothing. There's no feel. And it's for sublimation. You can't feel sublimation, but... You could do this on a dark t-shirt, which you can't do with sublimation. That's so. true. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so I got new ideas. <laughs> so if you guys, you know, if you're starting out with a laser and you don't have a Cricut or a DTF printer or a sublimation printer, it's awesome. Now, let's try it on the CO2 laser. Yeah. Step five. Let's run that test card on the CO2 laser. Let's see what we get. I think it'll be a little faster. Now we're going to do the test card for the P2 or the CO2 laser. Let's change lasers, switch devices, Wi-Fi. There's my D1 and my P2. We'll switch it. Let's draw a rectangle. Hold shift so it's square. Make it quarter inch again. Two five. Well, it's still selected. Select engrave. Array, material array. We'll increment by a minimum 100 speed. Rows 6, uh, 10 to 100, sounds good. Uh, but we'll go 10 columns. Okay, I mean, look how easy those test cards are. Start and we'll hit start again. So my test card turned out to be more of a test scrap. <laughs> <laughs> All but maybe six squares just burned right out. Burned so, right out. You were right. It's faster. So it's definitely faster. I think our best bets are these two down here. 10% tower. <laughs> 500 to 600 millimeters per second. Those are our best bets. So that's what we're going to try next. And funny, funny story. 
as Garrett was doing her testing, oh, yeah. uh, Tanner says, where'd you get that t-shirt? <laughs> found it around the shop. <laughs> he said, I found it in the shipping room. He's like, that's my t-shirt. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> well, you could just use it with like a open chest thing. It's yeah. a whole... You should wear it with like a, just a smoking vest, just a dinner jacket. <laughs> Step six. What's up, hangers? <laughs> this one is for you. Yeah. I have a new design. Yeah. <laughs> just as big. <laughs> right. Don't worry. It's going to be just as big. But if you've joined our Patreon, you know that we call our folks hangers. And so Garrett's created a new design just for the hangers out there. And let's test it on the CO2 laser with one of our little two test, set, test settings that worked. <laughs> yeah, one of the two. <laughs> We prepared the t-shirt the same way for the P2, the CO2 laser. We put the board inside it, centered the board, spritzed it with some water. Now in here, I'm gonna give it the old tuck and roll. I'm gonna tuck the t-shirt in the grates to get it out of the way. I'm gonna roll the top and bottom to keep them away from the laser head too. So I'm just tucking and rolling everything out of the way so that laser head will not catch and start a fire again. Thirty eight minutes later, <laughs> we got ourselves another big design. Tip to tip. <laughs> tip to tip. <laughs> anyway, this looks just as amazing. I mean, they look the same. I would say they look the same. They feel the same. You can't yeah, feel it. You can't feel it. Super crisp, perfect lines. Let's turn it inside out. Let's see if we can see it. Can't nope. Can't see it. No. Can't see it. Can't see through it. Yeah. I'm super impressed. Now, we've done this on two black t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Can you do this on other colors? I want to try red. Yeah. Garrett loves red, so we're going to try it on a red t-shirt and see what we get. We're going to keep it all on the CO2 laser? Is that what we're yeah, going to do? Yeah, I'm going to do it on the CO2 laser because I don't have another two and a half hours. It's a little bit faster. Again, 30 minutes, and I got myself another t-shirt. What I'm impressed with is this heart. This heart has these little ridges in it. And yeah, it has tiny, tiny little lines in it. Each of those little ridges came out. I do notice that it does have some kind of ombre to it. Yes, okay, We so we figured that out. We saw it a little bit here, a little bit more here. We weren't sure, but by the time we got to this one, we figured it out. Um, when you spray, well, Garrett sprays it to make sure that it didn't have any wrinkles in it and it lays nice and flat, but the section where it was wet doesn't has, have as vibrant of a color. Um, by the time you get down here where it's dry, it looks a little more crisp. The, the lines are, well, it's not that the lines aren't crisp, it's just a little less faded, right? Yeah, it's, it's just a little, little less more... faded. I guess there's a color change. As the shirt dried, as it went down, it just seems to have lightened it more, I guess. Yeah. So, I don't know, so I kind of like the effect. You, yeah, well, so either keep it wet or keep it dry. Yes, keep it wet or keep it dry is what I would say. Or if you want the whole ombre effect, you can just do what yeah, we did. Yeah, do what we did. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it. So what do you guys think? Again, if you've done this before, let us know. If you've done it on other materials, like fleece, or some other material, <laughs> maybe a Is blend. Is there any other material, Kim? <laughs> or a blend. Let us know, let us know, maybe even share your settings. Let us know how it worked, what you used it for, because I'm just blown away. I didn't know that a laser could do t-shirts. Well, we're about out of time. I gotta go make some more t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about making a couple of limited runs of some hanger shirts. Do you want a hanger shirt? Let me know down below. Otherwise, thank you over here to all of our hangers. <laughs> we love you guys. And we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget about Tuesdays where we do Test Cut Tuesdays 
we have a new design I test it out we try to paint it and put it together on the spot sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't 